Welcome back to my Legends Expanded Universe Chronological Timeline Rating, where I go through the Expanded Universe according to my personal timeline order and rank each and every individual piece of media on a 10-point scale. Today we have Sith Weapons, a comic da recording. This is by Ryder Windham, published in 2007, taking place at 6,900 BBY, although probably not, although probably not. It's a short story uh, published by Delray that was found in Jedi vs. Sith, The Essential Guide to the Force. Now this story, Kamak Dodd, describes that he is a descendant from the original Sith. So the original red-skinned Sith species, he is a descendant from those original, um, original Sith there. And, um, he, he's describing, um, all of the Sith weapons. So he describes lightsabers, the most formidable Sith poison, which will cr make the person poisoned more susceptible to the dark side and being turned. He describes Khazar, or, um, how does he pronounce it? Um, it, it's pronounced, um, it's the, um, uh, L Lenavarok, Lenavarok, I'm not sure why I said Kizar, but it's the Len Lenarvik, Lenarvik, and it's like a wrist-mounted thing that hurls spiky discs at people, that slices people apart, and Comic Da, um, also talks about Sith darts, lightsabers, battle armor, and Sith swords, which were the first blades that... Funnily enough, um, Sith swords are basically the same as lightsabers, but a blade. And what's interesting is they can also deflect blaster bolts, and they're, they can deflect uh, lightsabers because they, the metal's been changed and imbued with the force. And it also um, becomes sharper than any other sword because it's being used by a dark side user. So the Sith swords um, were very deadly, sharper than usual, and Comic Da reflects that he prefers a Sith sword to a lightsaber because there's nothing more satisfying than feeling the warm spray of blood when you slice um, off a victim's limb, which, that was cool. That made Comic Da seem really intimidating and really um, interesting as a character. Um, so, I, I like that aspect of the story. However, also mentioned is Frida Nad and Naga Sadal, who were in the Tales of the Jedi comics, and Exar Kun. Now, since I had this place before, how could Comic Da know who those people are and talk about them if the events haven't happened yet? So that's why I think this story actually goes after Tales of the Jedi. I'm going to say that instead of taking place at 6,900 BBY, where I originally thought it should have gone, I'm going to say this should probably go at 3,990 BBY, which would be after, um, which would be four years before Tales of the Jedi Redemption. Um, it, I don't really know where this goes. It's really weird because this is a pure-blooded Sith, a descendant of the original Sith, a pure-blooded Sith. But they were mostly exterminated. But then again, he knows about Exar Kun. So I'm not really sure where the story takes place. Um, the story seems a little self-contradictory with events. So I'm not sure where it takes place, but this is where I originally had it. So I am decided to talk about here. But it probably doesn't fit where I had it. What do I think about the story? There's not a lot of narrative to the story. I like the character of Comic Da. He sounds interesting, very scary, um, a good warrior. Interesting stuff about the Sith swords. Um, and other than that, I didn't really care about the story very much. It felt like really just a long monologue. So I'm going to have to give this one a 2 of 10. Not the biggest fan of the overall story. Some interesting connections to Tales of the Jedi. Interesting stuff about the Sith swords that I didn't know. Um, one or two interesting new concepts introduced. Um, a cool moment here when he talked about uh, slashing people apart with the sword and how it's cooler than the cauterizing aspect of a lightsaber. That's nice, that's cool. But overall, is it that good? No, it's not that good. Uh, but Marcel Ryan, the revanchist on YouTube, does read the story. So if you want to hear the story read to you, go over there and check it out. The very link will be in the description of this video. So go um, listen to him read the story to you. He'll read the entire story, this entire short story, he'll read it to you. Um, and you'll read it in such a way where you are mesmerized, guaranteed, or your money back. Um, so go over there and uh, check the story out um, and have it read to you. Um, and then you can decide for yourself what you think of the story. So what did you guys think? Is it better than a 2 of 10? Is that about right? Is it worse than a 2 of 10? Let me know.